November 11th, Saturday, 2017. It is day 296 in a Donald Trump Zionist regime. Today is Veterans Day. Of course, Donald Trump is still over in Asia somewhere, Vietnam, heading to the Philippines, I don't know. Don't really care. All I really know is if he's not playing golf, he's having the finest meals that money can buy with these Asian leaders. While our veterans, many of them are homeless. Some of them are self-medicating with drug, drugs and alcohol. Nobody really seems to give a shit. Oh, they pass by. Sometimes they throw a dollar out the window. And then the colleges, these colleges, they're really pathetic. They teach all these snowflakes. Make sure you say thank you for your service. When you meet a veteran, it makes me sick to hear it. At first it made me feel uncomfortable. Now I'm sick. Why don't you give the veterans what they need? A dental plan. We talked about it yesterday. Give them a dental plan. Give them a goddamn job. Give them a red, white, and blue food card. Shit, they put their life on the line? You can't give them a red, white, and blue food card? I mean, you give every Tom, Dick, and Harry out there a snap card. People who never even put the uniform on have snap cards their, their entire life. Welfare, Section 8. So, just in case, if there's a snowflake listening, I don't think I have snowflakes listening, but just in case one drops in, hey, forget the uh, thank you for your service line. Call your congressman and tell him that the... Veterans need substance, a job, red, white, and blue food card, a dental plan. Give me something to hell with you. Thank you. And quite frankly, America should hang their head in shame. There should never, ever be a veteran that's homeless. There should be at least barracks. There should be barracks set aside in every Army base, every Air Force base, every Naval station there for a veteran. He should never be homeless. He should go right up to the gate and say, I don't have a place to stay. Okay, go over there to barracks 14. That's where you'll be staying. What in the hell are these people thinking? Donald Trump still playing tiddlywinks with some tubby tyrant. You think he would get tired of dancing with a two-bit down-and-out dictator and start helping not only veterans... But how about helping the 95 million Americans who are out of the workforce? Jesus. We want peace. We don't want war. We want stability. We don't want chaos. But what, like I said, Donald Trump still playing tiddlywinks with this tubby tyrant. And of course, Ivanka Trump, I mean, still no evidence that Ivanka Trump has come out and denounced India. No evidence that she's come out and shamed India for rounding up the poor, putting them in Indian FEMA camps. All I can figure out, all I can surmise is that Ivanka Trump is all for FEMA camps and Agenda 21. Okay, let's wind this segment down today. Yes, the Saudi Arabian situation is very worrisome. I mean, you're talking petrodollar. The only reason why... Donald Trump and all these politicians can fly to China, fly to all these other countries, have the finest meals that money can buy. The only way they get away with it is the petrodollar. When the petrodollar goes down, they're going to be worrying uh, about where their next meal's coming from, and they're going to be worried about the unwashed masses. It's going to get ugly, for sure. Okay, we know why North Korea and Iran and we know why they want to protect themselves. I mean, if you cannot protect yourselves today, well, you're going to end up like Libya. You're going to end up like Syria. I mean, luckily for Syria, they have a big brother, Russia, that protected them. If it wasn't for Russia, geez, the Syrians would already be taking orders from Bibi. Okay, what's we got here? The plague. Everybody's worried about the plague They down there and. um Madagascar. I mean, here's the thing. I hear they dig up graves down there. I'm not sure about that. That's a bad idea. You don't dig up graves. But here, but there really is a cure for this plague. You may not know it. First of all, whenever you're, first off, when you're out there in public, you come home, you always wash your hands. First thing you do in the morning is you drink garlic water. Yeah, garlic tea or garlic water. You put fresh garlic in your brown rice and your beans. This is the cure for the plague. Garlic will kill it. If you drink garlic water in the morning, garlic tea, put garlic in your brown rice and beans, 
You eat salads and blah, blah, blah. That is the, that's the cure for the plague. Trust me on this one. They never tell you what these weapons of mass destruction are. I mean, sure. I mean, we're supposed to believe the government. I mean, has the government been, the government been telling you the truth lately? I mean, I don't know, but they don't. What is a weapon of mass destruction? I think you could be a little bit more specific. Now, this is probably the only good news we got today. The Podesta group is going out of business. Good riddance. Hopefully the Clintons will be out of business soon. Like I say, a better way to say thank you, veterans, is, um, yeah, we're going to work on getting you a dental plan. Take that thank you for your service and shove it right where the sun don't shine. I don't need it. I don't need your thank you. It makes people feel uncomfortable. And quite frankly, when I got my homeless brothers and sisters on the damn street with no dental plan, no food, no job, that damn thank you is just a slap in the face is all it is. That, go up to the homeless veteran. On the, go up to the homeless veteran and say, thank you for your service while he smacks you in the face. Unbelievable. Bitcoin was over 7000 at one time. It got hammered this week. Over 7,000. I'm just waiting for the uh, end game with Bitcoin. That end game is going to be amusing. Uh, hey, what, what can I say? Now, uh, Hawaiian Airlines, Hawaiian Island Air shuts down after 37 years of flight. Here, I got a good idea. You know, the robots are coming. Of course, we don't need any factory. Ain't going to be no damn factory breaking ground today. All the robots are going to be made over in Asia. Duh! I got an idea. Once the Asians, once those beautiful, smart, clever Asians make the damn robot and they ship it over here, why don't we hire a veteran? And he'll be the supervisor for the robot. Now there's an idea. You don't have to pay the robot. Or maybe, you know, some rich dual citizen will have to pay for the robot. But hey, force them. If you're going to use a robot for a worker, how about hiring a veteran or any damn good born and raised American to supervise the robot. There's an idea.